here I go again, just traveling. Dublin is the powerhouse of Irish tourism. There's a new dedicated team for Dublin, focusing on digital, focusing on sales, focusing on experience development, working with businesses, working with the local authority. Very joined up approach. Team Dublin has never been as strong. And our objective is to grow Dublin, grow Dublin's international business, put it on the map and make it the absolute jewel in the crown of Irish tourism that it is. In Dublin, there's such a variety of experiences that suit both the segments, both the young social energizer uh, and, and those that are more interested in the cultural experience. When we're working with the businesses, there's a tremendous amount of experiences that we can put in front of these segments and we're going to help the businesses develop their uh, approach to sales and also approach their, their way that they uh, engage with the social energizers through the digital channels. We're working in a way we haven't worked before because the social energizer doesn't read magazines or doesn't go to the traditional ways to find out about when they're going on a city break. Social media is king. We've been looking at existing events and looking at building on their um, programs. So adding additional contemporary, interesting, unique elements and really dialing up some new experiences to the overall program. So for example, for Bram Stoker, we did everything from pop-up cinema events to pop-up banquets to uh, music trails to pop-up debates. And really, I suppose, looking at what elements of the program would really attract that social energizer visitor and really um, integrating more and more of these into these festival and events. My job with the team is to sort of bring Dublin to life for the culture of the curious. They want to get under the skin of Dublin. They want this sort of authentic side. They want to do what the Dubliners are doing. The Dublin is essentially sort of the heart of Dublin. It starts at Trinity and ends at Kilmainham. Many of Dublin's key attractions are all sort of based along the Dublin. And what it allows the customer to do is it helps them navigate the attractions in Dublin. You can choose what Dublin you want to do along the Dublin. So it just allows you to experience what you want to experience. We're working on Visit Dublin at the moment, doing a major revamp of the website. We're going to do a lot of work on developing the website to make it the premier website for Dublin, using social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, um, to really bring out that what's happening in Dublin, send the message to people that there's always something going on. This year we're opening a brand new tourist office in Suffolk Street. It's going to be totally state-of-the-art, fully interactive, and we'll give visitors everything they want when they come to Dublin. We're expecting to have in excess of half a million visitors through the doors of the tourist information centres this year, so really bringing Dublin to life. Over the last number of months we focused on the British market with a very targeted campaign about two segments, culturally curious and social energizers. And for the first time in five years we've seen growth come back. Businesses have working together, all of us focusing in the same area. This year we're going to expand that to talk about Germany, France, America and of course Britain. Dublin is a fantastic destination to come on your holidays, it's a great place to come on business and there's loads of growth here and we're going to drive that growth with the business community.